Howdy friends, Steve DePoe here with the Rose Realty team with this week's Real Estate Vlog for North Texas. Before we get started, we ask you to go to YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Let's Do Real Estate Texas. There's no charge, but you will be alerted to updates and changes to our series Spotlight on Community, Focus on Small Business, and of course, our weekly real estate updates on North Texas. Thank you. Let's get started. Today's topic, our fourth, fourth annual Christmas Day Fun Facts episode. Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we celebrate Christmas, uh, the birth of Jesus Christ on January, uh, excuse me, January, on, on December 25th. Well, actually, that was just a day picked out. Uh, we're not, not actually sure when um, when the birthday actually is. Um, there were a lot of people think that it was kind of in the spring, but they but but historians feel they picked uh, December twenty fifth as a date that coincided with the uh, pagan fest festival of Salinera, Salinera and um, that uh, that's the uh, the agricultural god uh, Saturn's uh, celebrating. Uh, gift giving and renewal. So that's potentially why we, we have the 25th. Evergreens as a tradition. Evergreens um, as a tradition in, in the home in terms of decorating dated back to the Egyptians and the Romans who decorated their houses with evergreens uh, during the winter sol solstice to signify that spring would soon return. Well, you know, solstice is winter solstice is the middle of December. And so spring will be just like a couple of months away. So it makes a lot of sense. Okay. Uh, Prince Albert it was, it can be, can be uh, accredited with the first Christmas tree. So Prince Albert uh, was the Prince of Germany at the time. And he, he put up a, a evergreen tree and decorated it for his new wife from, she was from England. And somebody did a drawing of this and published it in the um, Illustrated London News in 1848. And that kind of caught on. And so after that, people, people started doing, uh, doing what we now call Christmas trees uh, in their house uh, for Christmas. Cookies and milk. If you, if, so if your kids or you uh, leave uh, cookies and milk or other snacks um, for Santa on the 24th, uh, you can thank the Dutch for that. So um, Dutch children put um, cook out cookies and milk for St. Nicholas figuring that figuring two things number one he was hungry i mean he was traveling all that way and he was hungry and so he needed a little snack and it was also sort of like a sort of a trade or a bribe in terms of you know well, i'll give you the snack uh, you give me some toys okay so that's where it started back in um back in um uh, in holland with the dutch um and that that particular uh, day nicholas's feast day was uh, december 6th Hanging stockings, wow. Um, so that started back um, when, a, um, when, when a poor man didn't have enough money for his, uh, for his three daughters' dowry. And the rumor was that if he hung up, if he hung up stockings on his mantle, um, that uh, St. Nicholas uh, would, would come and drop off, um, would, would drop off um, rich, riches for them. Well, in this particular case, um, the St. Nicholas dropped off some little bags of gold in each of the stockings for his, for his daughters. That caught on. I mean, who wouldn't, right? I never got gold in my stocking, but maybe that's why, hey, there you go. If you ever get those little gold coins in the, uh, gold, uh, in the, the chocolate coins in the gold wrapper when you were, were a kid, that's probably where it came from, right? And so um, that's how we got the, the hanging stockings from, um, from the... Uh, from the from the mantle and reindeer. So Rudolph, you know, we, we got lucky here. So Rudolph's name could have been Rolo or Ren Reginald. Okay, not quite the same, uh, not quite the same spirit or twang as um, as um, as Rudolph, right? Uh, now the other the other um, uh, reindeer and, and, and uh, Rudolph's crew have also had other names like uh, Flossy, Glossy. Uh, racer, pacer, uh, scratch, uh, scratcher, feckless, feckless, um, steady, uh, ready, steady, and fireball. Now, if you remember 
the uh, the 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 uh, Christmas uh, animated Christmas show, um, uh, Arthur Christmas, Grand Grand Santa, also called the um, the the reindeer, uh, da uh, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Bambi, Dave, and you there with the white ear. So there's a whole bunch of different names that uh, the reindeer were called, and not just the uh, not just the seven names or eight plus Rudolph. Um, excuse me, eight plus the plus Rudolph's name that we know today. Next week, our fourth, fourth annual New Year's Eve fun facts. I hope you join in. This is Steve DePoe for the Rose Realty team. I'm gonna bounce. <laughs>